All right. I think we're uh, we're going here. Welcome. Um, this is Backyard Nature with Mr. Sam, and today I'm coming to you live from the Chick Inn. I hope that you guys can read that right, and it's not um, and it's not backwards. But um, before we get started here today, uh, I'm just gonna wait for some people to join, do a couple shout outs, um, and then we'll go from there. I see some people are joining. Oh, hello, Miss Jen. I see uh, Miss Jen has joined. So, you guys will have to excuse the noise. One is our guests that we're going to meet today. Um, they tend to be very loud, especially when they want to be let out. And the other is uh, construction that's going on next door. Hi, Jace. Hello, I'm happy that you're watching. All right, that's fine. Hello, Lenore and Gray. I'm going to show you guys my, my yard a little bit. I see some more people are watching, so if you put your name in, I'll give you a shout out. Yeah. It's a gloomy day today, but luckily it's not raining. Oh, my sister's watching. Hi, Emma. All right, so I think I'll just go ahead and get started then. Um, this is the first day of Backyard Nature with Mr. Sam, and each week, Wednesdays at 10 in the morning, I'm going to be out here in my parents' backyard um, just talking about the cool things I can find here. Uh, so today's topic is going to be chickens and backyard chickens. Um, but before we introduce the chickens, I would like to introduce a special guest. Hello, Melissa. Um, and the special guest is my mother hen. Hi. She's the one who uh, takes care of the chickens when I'm not here, mm -hmm. and even when I am here sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, and she also knows a lot about chicken care, so she's going to help me out with teaching you guys today. Hello, Donna, Arden, and Macy, and hi, Callie. Um, so let's start off first. I'm going to focus here and show you guys. So this is a fort that my family built uh, when I was in third grade. Um, and I helped build it. You can tell where I hammered the nails in because the wood is dented all around because I was very bad at actually hitting the nail with the hammer. Um, so this whole part, it's like a shed here and then there's a fort up there that we would hang out in and stuff. And then four years ago when we got chickens, we uh, incorporated the chicken coop and chicken run into this system, which is kind of cool, I think. Um, so we have underneath there is the coop that we'll see in a moment. This is a closed in run. It's completely fenced in. There's even a wire that goes underneath the fort to prevent uh, critters like raccoons from getting in. Um, and then we have this fenced in extend, extended run area where they can come in and explore. But this fence uh, doesn't really do the best at keeping all of the chicks or the chickens in because uh, two of them have learned how to jump the fence. But they put themselves back, so it's not too bad. All right, let's go in and meet the girls. Hello. Hey, girls. Buck, 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 buck. You guys are being very loud. <laughs> all right, we'll start with my favorite. This one here is Lucy. Okay, bye, Lucy. Lucy. Lucy is a salmon favorel chicken. Um, she does her own thing. She has lots to say, as you can hear. Um, and also, she likes to go swimming in the pool. In the summer, we'll bring her in the pool. And actually, a little fun fact for you, chickens float. So uh, she doesn't need a floaty or anything. Next to her here is um, Eliza. She's named after Eliza Hamilton from uh, Hamilton. Or, yeah. Um, and she is an Americana, um, which is interesting because she actually lays blue eggs. So she's also called an Easter egger. So you'll see her eggs in a little bit. She's also very shy. Lucy, we're talking to other chickens now, so if you could just tone it down, that would be great. 
Um, this one over here is Odette, not Odette, um, Morticia. Morticia is also an Americana, so she lays blue eggs as well. She's one of our newer chickens. Uh, over here. Oh, come back. This one right here is uh, Littlefoot. She's named after uh, the dinosaur Littlefoot from Land Before Time. Um, it's kind of a joke on the fact that chickens are related to dinosaurs. It's another little fun fact for you. What? They're more specifically, uh, they're the closest living relative to the Tyrannosaurus Rex, actually. Which is pretty cool. Hey, Alec and Cade. Hey, Griswold, or Griswoods. Who do we got hiding over here? We have Elphaba, is this one closest to us with the greenish uh, hue. She's also one of our newer, newer chickens. Um, and she's an, an Americana. So she lays blue eggs. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, Littlefoot is a silver lace Wyandotte. And she lays um, light brown eggs. She's also our largest chicken and probably the head of the flock. Uh, this one is Moana. Moana is also an Americana, and she lays green eggs, actually, which is kind of cool. Who do we got hiding under here? The one that you guys see right here is, uh, her name is Leia, named after Princess Leia, because I'm a Star Wars nerd. Uh, she is a Rhode Island Red, which is a very hardy species of chicken. Um, so she is old reliable, old faithful, um, and they lay dark brown eggs. And behind her, the, the black and white one is named Cookie. And Cookie, we don't really know what she is. She just, uh, she just is here. We adopted her from another family that needed to get rid of their chickens. Um, but she lays uh, light brown eggs as well. All right, so let's show you around the coop a little bit here. So we have our enclosed run here. Um, and they have some climbing areas. This is, we call it the mini coop, um, and we built it because when you get new chickens, you have to acclimate them. They can't sleep with the other chickens um, right away. So, and then we just kept it here because some of the chickens like to use it. So you can look inside. Um, they have their perch here that they can sleep in, um, but they also use it as a place to lay their eggs. Um, so we'll find eggs in here sometimes as well and have their shavings and their little ramp to get in. Um, and then this is their food station. So it's just PVCs uh, that up on top, we fill it with the food and the food as they eat it, it falls down. And then once it's empty, we just refill it. And we have this bin under here because uh, there's chipmunks that come. They're so loud today. There are chipmunks that come and it seems like they're digging through the chicken food to find the perfect little grain so they dig it all out and it all lands on the on the floor on the ground so uh, we put this bin here to catch what the chipmunks dump out and the chickens will eat from out of there as well um, here's their water we have to refill this too and it's on this little tray that is set to turn on heat if the temperature gets under 39 degrees so it prevents it from freezing which is pretty cool i think <laughs> they got a lot to say so here's their main coop, so they can walk up here. They actually put themselves to bed at night, which is pretty cool. Um, and inside, you'll see they have a nice window view. And hi, Henry. <laughs> uh, so they have two perches here. And they tend to like to hang out on the, the higher perch, but sometimes if somebody's being uh, excluded, like pushed away, maybe they're being annoying and they need to be separated, they'll go on the lower perch. And over here behind the curtain is uh, where they lay their eggs. Pay no attention to the chickens behind the curtain. <laughs> All right, so the chickens have been shouting this whole time. Let's flip this camera around. The chickens have been shouting so much because they really want to go outside. I hope you guys were able to hear me um, during all that. So how about we let them out? Sounds good. Sounds good to me. All right, pay attention here because when they come out, they like to run really fast. Oh, 
Waddle waddle. And little foot. Oh, there goes. There goes Cookie. Okay, Eliza, you can figure it out. Come on. <laughs> Here we go. There's Elphaba and Moana. I think the gang's all out. So they always like to come over here and they check out um, yeah, they check out our compost here. So this is my compost system that I built. Um, and if you guys are interested, I can do a, a whole nother day on composting as well. Um, but there's two different sides. So this side, um, we're currently adding stuff to, as you can see, and the chickens, uh, oh, their favorite tree is cantaloupe seeds. Oh, here they come. Slow down. Hey, girls. <laughs> hey, Leah. Come on. Here. I guess they don't like my hand. <laughs> I am Mother Hen. Clearly. <laughs> okay, bye. They've got seeds on their back. <laughs> cookie! There you go. There's Cookie. Tara's chicken. I can see that Miss Jen is really enjoying this. <laughs> or is that Jace? <laughs> oh, they're pecking really hard. <laughs> All right, clean this off, because I got to go to the next part. Come on, Lucy. Oh, wow, that was quick. Thank you. All right, so anyways, um, so we have the two systems here. This stuff we're adding, um, this side we're adding compost to right now. So it's a mixture of our food produce and also wood shavings and actually chicken poop, because chicken poop is uh, healthier for compost and gardens than even cow manure, which is the go-to standard um, animal manure that we use uh, or that people use um, so the chicken poop helps out a lot wood shavings help balance out all of the produce that we add um, and my mom actually works at a food share program so a food bank um, and anytime they have food that's just too far gone um, and they can't give it out to people they bring it here and it gets added to our system and then this side um, is blocked off so this is going to be ready for this year actually underneath all those leaves is probably very good um, compost uh, and we blocked it off because with chicken poop you have to um, you have to you can't have fresh poop that's less than six months old in uh, compost if you're going to use it for food and we use this in our food garden so uh, we blocked this off so that the chickens can't get into it Uh, all right, let's switch that back to me. Does anybody have any questions as of right now? Something that they've always wanted to know about chickens. Some people always ask me if they have different personalities and they definitely do. Um, they have a pecking order. Um, so there's a head chicken and then there are lower level chickens. Um, and you can tell based on their behavior, the head chickens pick on the little one or the, on the lower level ones just because that's how they maintain their dominance. Um, and as long as it doesn't get too aggressive, uh, we're not too worried about it here. They also, some are shy, like Eliza's very shy, but Lucy's like, whatever. Um, Miss Jen asks, do you, did you ever, or do you ever have chicks? We do not have chicks. That is a good question. We do not have chicks because we don't have a rooster. So we only have girls. So we get eggs almost every day, but none of them are fertilized, so they can't turn into baby chicks. Um. Really? What? You want to get down? I guess I'm sick. <laughs> She's busy. She wants to get compost. Yeah, I guess. Hello, William and Dean. Uh, Eileen asked, how old can chickens get? Do you want to answer that one? 
Chickens can live anywhere between five or 10 years old, even a lot longer if they're good and healthy and taken care of well, um, but they do have a lot of predators which we have to keep out for, keep an eye out for. Yeah. In the sky and on the ground, raccoons, foxes, Cooper's hawks. hawks. We it, don't have to worry too much about foxes because we have a fenced in backyard, but we have had problems with raccoons, hawks. We even last year had a barred owl that was checking out our chickens, which is unusual. Normally that means that um, there are a lot of owls and not a lot of food, so they resort to our chickens because mm -hmm. they, they prefer smaller animals like mice and stuff. We do not like to lose our girls. We love our girls um, and we love their eggs. Lenore asked, how many eggs do they lay? So chickens typically, it takes about 26 hours for a chicken to make an egg from start to laying finish. Um, they typically, so 26 hours, they typically lay about once a day um, when we have uh, 12 hours of sunlight. Um, their egg production is based on sunlight, so in the winter time, their egg production slows down a little bit um, because it's darker earlier in the daytime. So we give their bodies a little bit of a break. Um, but even on like cloudy, rainy days like today, they will find that they, there's less eggs. Um, mm -hmm. Yesterday was a very good day. It was a nice warm day, so almost all the chickens laid eggs. Some um, people will put lights in the coop to extend the light for the chickens to lay more eggs. Mm -hmm. But here in our little backyard farm, we just let their bodies work the way they're meant to and their egg production is lower in the winter time. And we are okay with that because we like to take good care of our girls. Yeah, that's a good yeah. question. Yeah. Um, and then we also have how many chickens is ideal for backyard chickens for a family? It really is based on your property size, um, how many you want to have, your property size, uh, because the towns have different rules based on your property size. So you would need to check with your town to see what's allowed um, as for number of chickens. And usually, um, like we can't have a rooster because, well, they'd wake us up in the morning and um, Our neighbor then we'd have real chicks instead of omelets. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's really dependent on how much space you have and also how many mouths you have to feed if, you're, if you want them for eggs. Um, but we have, right now, we have eight chickens. Uh, we have had up to 11, um, but we currently have eight. But here's a fun fact about chickens. There are more chickens on Earth than human beings. There are about 25 billion chickens on Earth. 25 billion chickens. And there are only like 7 billion people, so that's a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Jen asked, why not get a rooster? Because I like my sleep, Miss Jen. No, uh, we're actually not allowed to get a rooster, right? I don't think so. Uh, I in, think you need to have a certain town. property size. Yeah. Um, and if we had a rooster and all our eggs were fertilized, we'd have lots of chicks and not many eggs. Yeah. So, there's yep. that. All right. Let's see, let's see. I think... We should go check the, the, the nest to see uh, if there are any eggs. Sounds good to me. So, I'm gonna flip this here. We have um, <laughs> the eggplant, get it? Um, so this door here, it used to be able to stay up by itself, but it's kind of worn out over time. So now we have this complex system of a stick. A chicken foot. A, ch a giant chicken foot <laughs> that uh, leans on it to help keep it from falling. So we just pull this open and we look and let's see what we got. Oh, look oh my gosh. That. Wow, that's a lot. So you can see we have, um, here's a light brown and a greenish egg. And then over here we have two light browns the middle one's bluish and the two outside ones are green. And this is the other side of the curtain. So we're back in the coop here. There's the perch. And when eggs are freshly laid, they are very warm. Yes, they are very warm. Yeah, and they have a protective coating. Yep, these are nice and warm. They have a protecting, protective coating on them called a bloom, which um, keeps bacteria from getting into the egg. So. We do not put our eggs in the refrigerator because they do have that protective coating on them. But when you buy eggs in the grocery store, they have been cleaned and washed and those do need to be refrigerated to uh, keep them safe for eating. Yeah, look at that big, beautiful egg. Yeah. 
You can see the difference in the color. Yep. Blue versus green. Yeah. And those will make delicious omelets and scrambled eggs and frittatas and all kinds of yummy, delicious food. Hi, Katie. My sister Katie tuned in as well. Hi, Katie. Hi, Emma. <laughs> um, so that's all that we have to share for you today. Or if there are any last minute questions, you can type them in now. Um, I'll give you a moment. Uh, but otherwise, tune in next week for a new topic that will be determined. Um, Thanks for coming to the chicken coop. Yeah, and the big, chicken. Big thanks to uh, Mother Hen for helping <laughs> out this time. She uh, she knows more than I do about chickens, so I figured it'd be great to have her tag along. It's a family project, and Mr. Sam is trying very hard for us to get ducks as well, but that's not gonna happen. <laughs> we want ducks. My brother wants a mini cow. We want a farm. Mini cow. I would love a mini cow. <laughs> ducks are more manageable. <laughs> What is the difference in the colors of the eggs? It's based on what type of chicken it is, as to what color um, eggs that they lay, and different breeds lay different color eggs. Um, eggs around the world with the different chicken breeds can be anywhere from dark chocolate brown to a pinkish hue, um, white, green, blue, brown, all different colors. But on the inside, they're exactly the same. Yep. And actually, the shells are a good source of calcium um, for the chickens, which helps them remake eggs. So we actually crush the eggs up. And what, well, once we open the uh, eggs to make our omelets or whatever, we uh, clean out the shells, we dry them, and then we crush them up. And I put them in the compost because it's good for the plants. In fact, if you look in our garden here, um, all the little white specks are crushed up eggshells. Here's our kale that survived the winter and is starting to regrow. Um, but the chickens actually can eat their own shells. As long as we crush it down so that it doesn't look like an egg, um, they can eat their own shells. And the reason you have to crush it down so it doesn't look like an egg is because they can develop a taste for their own eggs as well. Uh, so if, if they see it, if they associate it with their eggs, they'll lay the egg and then they'll eat it, which we don't want. Hey, Laura, um, so our eggs won't hatch because they're not fertilized. Um, I don't know the, we would need a rooster the germination, gestation, I don't know. incubation period, yeah, I don't know. whatever the word is. I want to no. say it's like two weeks. Or no, it's 21 days. I know that. 21 no, days. No, but fun fact, days. fun fact about um, um, fertilized eggs when the chicks are actually growing, before the chicks hatch, a mama chicken can actually communicate with their chick. Um, bye, Red Rabbit. By chirping, and you can see videos online of little eggs chirping back to their mamas while they're still in the egg. It's very cute. Yeah. 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 Did we talk uh, about dirt baths? Can they not produce? Oh, we can talk about that. Yeah. Uh, can they not produce eggs with a calcium deficiency? That is correct. They need calcium to uh, to make their eggs. Um, and if they don't have enough calcium, you get almost like a, it, it, a soft shell. It's a soft, kind of it almost feels like a squishy ball, like a stress ball. Yeah. Um, but if you squeeze it too hard, it makes a mess. Uh, <laughs> but actually that can cause a lot of problems. They, if it's a weird shape, it can get stuck. Um, so it's very important that we have uh, an appropriate amount of calcium. And actually their food is developed so that they have the right amount of calcium. But if for any reason uh, they're not getting it, we have crushed uh, oyster shells in there, which is also a good source of calcium. And then we, get, we feed them their own eggshells. Um, so it's good. Thanks, Adeline. Um, oh, and also, so we have, I'll show you really quick in here, in our room. So this is called a dirt bath under here. So chickens actually, actually, they take baths in dirt. And the idea is that they can have a lot of um, bugs and mites and stuff that can go inside their feathers. So if they put a whole bunch of dirt inside their feathers, it suffocates those bugs. So it prevents them from getting uh, infested with fleas and ticks and other little mites and stuff, which is kind of cool. Uh, how do you handle egg-bound chickens? Oh boy. You... 
we yeah we have a chicken spa that we do so we have a, a, set, a warm water and um, Epsom salt and then we also uh, essentially just kind of try to massage the egg out and then there are more invasive uh, maneuvers as well if that doesn't work but thanks Miss Jen for bringing that question up <laughs> and we had that happen last week so that's why she uh, she brought it up and I'll leave you on this fun fact, if there are no more questions, that chickens can actually remember over 100 different faces of people or animals. Um, so if you're mean to a chicken, they'll remember. And if you're nice, they'll remember too. All right, we're going to sign off here at uh, the Chick Inn. So thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you guys next week for another edition of Backyard Nature with Mr. Sam. Thanks, everyone.